Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm Boeing 737 Captain and today we're gonna fly, we're gonna try to fly a raw data eyeless approach on Boeing 737-NG on the simulator Prepare 3D. It's a nice model, I like this cockpit, it's very detailed, so I already set all the courses and all the eyeless frequencies. I put a minimum of 630 with a 430 of elevation, it should be around 200 feet. Well, actually we perform a raw data eyeless approach if the visibility is not less than one kilometer and the cloud base is not less than 300 feet but for training purposes because it's the simulator i put a cloud base of 200 feet around the raw data eyeless approach may be hard for you if you're a newcomer and you just start your commercial flying operations yes you maybe have some problems but for me it's not a problem because i had many simulators before and at least once a year we have these approaches in our simulator program at least in the real simulator i don't have any problems with it i'm in doubt that i can do it right now because it's my first try and i have just this joystick i think airbus pilots would love it why it could be hard well basically because you need to split your attention you need to put your attention to different aircraft parameters for example here we have airspeed indicator you need to check aircraft speed of course here we have altitude and also glide slope deviation, localizer deviation. Here we have a navigation display, I just put it on this side. So localizer deviation bar, you need to put your heading towards the preset course, which is in our case 356. Also you need to set your pitch according to your aircraft speed. So there will be no any flight director bars helpful, which are very helpful for you during the standard approach. So for all data, you need to concentrate you need to put a lot of concentration and also you're on your manual flight and also you need to give your commands and clouds to your colleague and you need to perform landing checklists etc so basically it's not easy okay my friends let's fly and now we are turning to the right to reach the localizer as you can see now i can extend my flaps to one position so far we're gonna fly with the autopilot and flight director system but then we'll enter the glide slope around enter the glide slope so i will select the autopilot off and we'll continue manual flight here we should wait to 1.5 and not come eyes around and then we'll turn to the left and now just continue uh, reducing the speed flap spot 5 speed 170 i'll not perform any landing checklist because i don't have my first officer with me so just disturb me and deflect my attention a little bit. Here are the flops of five, so let me proceed with the gear down and flips ten. No, it's fifteen. Yeah, I forgot to set the auto brake. Now just set the speed of one sixty. Now we need to turn to the left. I will not arm. The approach mode but anyway now you can see you will see that we have a localizer live here it's a little bit bagging I don't know why might be bagging the picture is not very nice but anyway we're gonna fly it and continue why it's not maintaining the altitude of 3000 feet I don't really know that's so far so good so we should enter the glide slope at 3000 feet and then we'll continue. The glider is a little bit on the right but anyway we'll, it's okay. We have a bend from the left side, 9 knots, so little by little gonna move, we're gonna be moved to the right. What else? Spin brake arms, so switches continues, let it be. Kibben Krupis take his sets. And I'm just waiting for the glide slope because if I select the flaps for 30 right now, there will be lots of drag, so we'll have to put lots of power, and the pitch will be very high in this case, uh, near to I think near to five or something, maybe more. For descent, the pitch with flap 30 is around 2.5 degrees, so we're gonna reach the glide slope first and then flaps 30 there should be it for landing the 
target speed should be 155 knots and I'll have 163 which is nice so little by little glide slope bar is coming which is good also we have it from here the glide slope is not alive so far then this diamond will go down it should be alive well anyway when it's alive I'll disengage the autopilot and continue manual flight I wonder what it will be flying this simulator with a joystick ok glide slope alive it's ok and we should disengage the and we should wait a little I'll wait for one dot of glide slope then I'll select the flaps for sorry after that reduce the speed, disengage everything and continue manual flight that'll be like this because I don't have first officer here so no one is helping me with the mode selector panel so I can I need to do it myself ok one dot flaps 25 flaps 30 new speed 155 which is fine and disengage the auto power disengage the auto throttle silence everything and fly manually yeah guys I wonder what was the N1 setting for the throttle but yeah I forgot to um, turn off the fly directors I'll turn them off now so now we don't have any more fly directors and I need to um, maintain the localizer and glide slope. As you can see we are on a glide slope and we need to descend right now with the vertical speed should be around 700 feet per minute not more uh, it's quite hard guys on the simulator not very easy anyway let's do it we are a little bit high on the glide and the speed is rising so we reduce the thrust and uh, continue so far we are stable in stable approach criteria uh, and approaching the glide the diamond is ok we are in within the diamond it's good I like that we have some kind of wing component and maybe I'll film next video with uh, some kind of different approach maybe with high wind or something we'll see but for this video just standard uh, raw data approach without flight director we are deviating a little bit going below the glide slope and left on localizer so just bank a little bit to the right and on simulator sometimes I use on the real simulator I use pedals rather pedals on real aircraft haven't flown the flight director uh, the raw data pilot's approach uh, without the flight director maybe some kind of visual approaches sometimes but I uh, didn't put lots of rider pedals there. Okay, we are now passing out to marker, mm, which is fine. It's quite hard, guys, <laughs> with this joystick, but we are maintaining the stable approach criteria so far. So far, so good. When you coming closer to the runway it will be more difficult for you to maintain the raw data because the sensitivity increases dramatically because yeah you're closer to the runway I can already see the runway but you need to continue with the f real raw data so far and just not to duck under and go below the glide slope 30, 20, 10. ok reduce the thrust, um, high flare I think we are okay. We did it, my friends. 
safe landing. Okay, I'll just break manually. Mm. It wasn't easy at all, guys. If you've seen me flying stable approach, it was really difficult, you know. It's more easy flying the real aircraft than this simulator, for sure. Okay, my friends, now I'll do something really crazy or maybe some kind of stupid thing. I'll just put the wind from left side. Uh, the wind severe. And I'll see if I can fly the simulator with this wind component. So again, I uh, need to turn to the right and simultaneously reducing the speed. The speed is jumping. I don't know. Uh, set the auto brake to maximum. <laughs> speed 190. Yeah, we have a tailwind for this time. So we're gonna turn, I think, 2.2 nautical miles before reaching final approach course. It's absolutely crazy. We'll extend the flaps more, flaps 5. Speed 170. It's quite hard, it's very hard, I would say. It will be very hard, then I'll follow manual flight. Okay, just spread the, just set the final push course of 356. Okay, I don't need it anymore. So here, the localizer will be alive soon. So the localizer is alive, as you can see, and we need to put this track line within the final porch course preset track. So then this uh, localizer bar reaches our airplane. We need to set this track uh, in the same line. I think with the crosswind from our left, I'll put the heading of 346, probably. But for now, we should wait for it. We should wait and fly 356. So just fly like this. It means we are deviating to the right. And just wait for this localizer bar. Now I may turn left, heading 350 I think, because then it approaches, we need to minimize this deviation here. I'll try to make the final approach, uh, the heading of 345, I think it should be it, yeah, perfect. So all three, uh, all three lines within the same line, it's quite good. Last will be live. Let it be gear down. And laps 15. On the speed break, Kevin Crew, please take your seats. And if I maintain this heading, then we should, uh, should be okay. Just a little bit left on the localizer, as you can see. So this diamond here is the same what we see here. So it doesn't matter what heading you maintain. Uh, so we have a crop angle, huge crop angle here. It's only a matter of of your localizer and track. Okay, flaps uh, sorty. Just gonna make it to the menu. Speed, let it be 150. Things engage everything. Why the vectors, auto throttle, all the warnings, and continue manual flight. Perfect. Uh, so far, so good. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's quite hard. Need to set the runway heading first. Okay, it's good. Oh, I, I was distracted for one second with the runway heading and. Now I see that the vertical speed went well below it was uh, around 1800 feet per minute, which is not nice. So level off the wings, as you can see I'm maintaining um, the localizer and just a little bit below the glide. 
I think I will not be able to make it guys uh, I think I think I think because it's very hard very hard on a real simulator it's more nice the controls are very similar to real uh, plane so even this this crosswind on the real simulator I may I might do it That's a more than maximum component for learning with the Boeing 737NG. We have maximum component of uh, 33 knots for NG with winglets. You can see I'm deviating more oh no. below, below, below. Anyway, I don't know what speed, what vertical speed should I maintain with this wing. With this uh, unreliable, I would say, here speed indications. Just going below, 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 it's not very good. We are out of stable actually profile. And just minimizing the vertical speed here. Now deviating a little bit to the left and correcting profile. Add some thrust. Add some thrust. And yeah, the closer you are to the runway, the harder it is to maintain everything. And very right, we yeah, have huge deviation to the right of localizer. And approaching glass open means I need to descend more. And I see the runway. Well, what can I do? I can just land probably. As you can see we have a huge drag per correction club club here just try to land all right was a hard one but anyway I should have gone gone around before because we were at stable below 1000 feet but it's just a simulator so I performed uh, landing nice well my friends what can i say i really enjoy flying this simulator and i really enjoy flying today's session with the raw data ILS approach it wasn't easy for me especially uh, the high wind settings i had a very severe crosswind of 33 knots and it's more than limit for this type of aircraft but anyway we are now on the runway However, I should have performed the missed approach maneuver because because the glass of deviation was quite high and I wasn't really keeping control in my airspeed. And of course, the crosswind component was well above limit. So in this case, of course, 100% you should have to go around. And I think even this simulator can be helpful for me uh, for attention distribution management, I would say. So probably if I fly this simulator several times before my main simulator check or training my check will pass in a more better way i think this thing will help me the one thing i don't like is this i need to have yoke i'm a boeing pilot after all thank you very much for watching this video and i know you're awesome guys so you need to follow special awesome guy checklist it will be here or there but anyway you need first like this video subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell whatever it means thank you very much for watching and have a great time